All right. Hello there, STEM Academy seniors. I'm here to talk to you real quick about the scope of your uh, STEM English research paper for your senior year and what will happen in the capstone class in the spring of your senior year. So I'm going to run through a few things quickly. They will be elaborated on greatly once you get to the capstone course. So if not all of this needs to be done now. In a couple spots, I'm just going to hit kind of the highlights so that you don't feel like we're getting too in-depth too early on here. All right. So first thing that we want to talk about is the actual scope of this project. Um, the goal is to summarize everything that you've done so far in the STEM Academy. We want to bring in all of your STEM principles. We want to focus on one of the grand engineering challenges that will be your choice. We'll talk about how you'll choose that here in a minute. And then we will work closely with an industry professional, similar to some of the guest speakers that you've had in your uh, STEM Academy events so far. Uh, your goal is to address the grand engineering challenge. So the goal is going to be to come up with a potential solution to the challenge that's already been presented to us. These challenges can be found at engineeringchallenges.org. They are put out by the National Academy of Engineers. So they are things that the engineering community is currently trying to address. You will be conducting research, and that's why we're talking about this now, is because the goal is to have you conduct your research in your English class in the fall so that you've got a leg up once we get going here in the spring semester, so that we're not researching and trying to come up with a solution. The goal is to do the research in your English class while you write your research paper, and then for us to kind of construct a solution once you get into here in the spring semester. The goal, uh, again, will be to get a mentor to work with this. I don't expect you to have a mentor. I'm not even going to go too in-depth into this right now because we'll talk a lot about this in the spring. We have managed to find a mentor for everyone, so don't let this stress you out. But if you know someone already who is potentially a mentor or an expert in the field of whatever you're going to write your uh, of the Grand Engineering Challenge that you're going to address, then it may be worth reaching out to them. If you have questions about this, please feel free to reach out to me. Come by and talk. Shoot me an email, whatever works best. You will be working with a group in the spring semester for your capstone project, but not for your research paper that you're going to do right now. So we're going to move past the group thing right now. Again, the goal will be to create a final product. So the goal is for you to address, the, to build something and test something to see if it can help become part of the solution here for the challenge that's present. We will present to the community at the uh, Stemposium, as we always have. Ms. Dorn will be getting everybody a lot of details on that, hopefully soon. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll get all that info and you guys will do your presentations there. And so the timeline, and this is really what I want to hit right now, is right now you're writing your research paper focusing on one of the grand engineering challenges, right? And, um, and your English teachers will help you through that. This is why they, you do this with them is because they're much, much better at it than I am. But uh, but then going into the early spring semester is when we'll start looking for a mentor. Again, if you know someone now and you want to reach out, by all means, go for it. But in the capstone project class is where you will actually come through here to um, to actually build a product for what we'll be looking for. So hopefully that gives you a quick intro and uh, looking forward to seeing you on the spring.